<laughs> He's so goofy, is he? <laughs> Get along! I'm mad at him. Pull it back like this? Huh? What's up, man? Pull the ball back like this? You shouldn't be arrogant either. <laughs> I said they shouldn't be arrogant either. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But then I turn around and I say, oh. <laughs> 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 maybe you can teach Sarah something. You're cute though, Mom. Yeah. I gotta take this off, but I was told. I didn't have a phone. You don't even need a phone. Hey Lee, can you slide to the left a little bit? Thank you. Thank you. He has really good hands. He, he has for a while. You know, he's catch pretty good. Yeah. Bad throw. Whoa. Without gloves, that's insane. Good job, Zerk. Zerk is number 249. Good job. Good job, Derek. Oh, whoa, whoa. What you put in
Tonight, more than 12,000 are expected to watch Alabama commit Alec Boris and Allen take on quarterback Corey Wesley and Plano East. It's high school football next on ESPN2. You are watching the Geico ESPN High School Showcase presented by Nike. And tonight we are here in Murphy, Texas at Tom Kimbrough Stadium getting set for this matchup between Allen and Plano East. And hello with everybody, Justin Kutcher alongside the Director of National Recruiting for ESPN, Tom Luganville. And Tom, there's a saying here in Texas that everything is bigger in Texas. And you know what? It's right, because you think about the size of the stadium, expecting 12,000 fans here. You're expecting a big band, 700 members in the Allen Band. And on top of that, these two schools, one school's 5,100, one school's 6,100 students. Yeah, that's enrollment 9 through 12. You mentioned those two enrollments for Plano East and Allen. Well, the top three high school enrollments in the entire state of Texas play in this conference. It's the most competitive conference in the state of Texas. Great football, great numbers, lots of kids going out, multiple freshman teams, multiple JV teams. Football is king. In fact, Tom Westberg, the head coach at Allen, said this is like the SEC of high school football. Finest when protected and get the ball out. Jonathan Williams, the verbal commit to Missouri in the backfield on first down. They hand off to Williams up the middle. And Missouri and Gary Pinkle has had before. On second and four, handoff again is to Williams. Williams barrels forward. Alec Morris throws a dart nice and easy in rhythm. Good underneath early throw to start off the series. Red zone opportunity here for Allen. The handoff is again to Williams trying to get to the outside. Williams has a hold. A stiff arm gets forced out of bounds after a first down by Kylon Higgins, number one. A 12-yard run by Williams. This is the outside stretch zone to the left of your screen right there. And you're going to see Williams slip right inside. Second and nine. Play action. Morris deep down the middle of the field. Wide open there is Andrew Rodriguez. Rodriguez, oh, what a move, and he can just walk in for the touchdown. Sixty-nine yards to Andrew Rodriguez. Empty backfield here for Allen on first down. The quick pass swung out to Williams. And there is a late flag coming in. Williams yards. Too many explosive plays that can get on the board quickly and you just made the field shorter behind your defense. Second and nine, Morris the shotgun. Alec Morris, a crossing route and it's complete to number 84, Zarek Lamb. 13 yard completion, another first down here for Allen. Well thrown ball over the middle of the field, right within the strike zone. Quick skinny post, Zarek Land, number 84, the six foot, 160 pound junior. Handoff is to Jonathan Williams. Up the middle, Williams picks up a yard. There for the tackle, number 97. It's the top. All right, thanks, Adnan. Looking at the ESPN High School Fab 50, you see Allen right there at number three. We had St. Thomas Aquinas on our air earlier this year, but right now, Allen trailing 14 to seven. 
Great field position though here in the second quarter. Same thing, one guy thought he was running an inside curl. Quarterback thought he should have been running the speed cut out to the sideline. First incomplete pass of the night for Morris sets up third and 13. Morris. Allen has great field position. We'll start at the 48 yard line. That ball not go far enough, it has to go 10 yards in the onside kick. Second and 10. Morris, that pass was deflected at the line. It was tipped by Nick's position for Allen. Justin and Tom, more high school football. Thanks so much, Adnan. Here we have Allen back on the field with Alec Morris, the quarterback. Starting at their own 26, trailing 17 to 7. The handoff to Jonathan Williams. And Williams gets hit right away by... He just works up into the open zone again, sitting and settling in space versus Plano East zone defense. Allen has all three timeouts remaining. It's just not going to happen, especially when Bassett's on a 4 by 100 relay team. <laughs> Second down and 10. Handoff to Jonathan Williams. Timeouts remaining. Try it, whether it's a draw, whether it's a quick bubble screen. Got a little concern in the previous two series for Allen. Fake the handoff. Morris gets out of the pocket, throws off a of one foot. No oh, help. He ends up getting taken down the sideline. Alex Morris, number two, recognizes the.